Now, we've seen images of rioting and protesting in Ferguson, Missouri. While authorities there try to piece together actually what happened when a police officer shot and killed an unarmed teenager. Officers in a rural Indiana town have a tool that would have helped them solve that mystery. Derek Thomas now with a story that's new at 530. The camera is lightweight. Officers clip it to their uniform. It costs about $500. Major Jason Hicks is outfitted with one of those cameras while doing regular patrolling. He spots someone he believes is speeding and pulls the vehicle over. You're looking at video from his body camera. You can see him approach the driver and initiate conversation. The reason I'm pulling you over today, I clocked you at 68 and 55. Every moment of his interaction with the driver, 60-year-old Andrea Johnson, is being recorded. It does capture what occurs and would not lessen uh, there being a discrepancy as to who did what or what happened um, during police interactions with citizens. There has been civil unrest in Ferguson, Missouri because citizens don't necessarily believe police accounts of the shooting of 18-year-old Michael Brown. Right now there's only two people and two people that know the story that they're at Ferguson. Uh, with a body camera, you know, if it was on at the time, it would show everything that actually happened uh, during that incident. So this is an excellent tool when you have controversial things that happen. I believe so. Now, I'm not saying I'm on the police's side, you know, but if somebody's lying, then they're lying. So I think it's a good idea just so that everybody's, you know, you got evidence right there. The evidence in this traffic stop is that Johnson was going 68 miles an hour in a 55 mile per hour speed limit zone. The cameras have been deployed since April. Right now, the department has seven of these cameras. More are on order. When officers go on a run, they must turn on the camera. They cannot turn it off. If they do, they're subject to disciplinary action. In Daleville, Derek Thomas, RTV6. Those cameras were purchased using a federal Homeland Security grant.